Stop! You're gonna get bit! On the night of February 11th, a police canine could not subdue Dustin Booth, nor could an approaching officer. Then, in a few split seconds, Monroe police fired multiple rounds at Booth, which resulted in a 35-year-old's death. That blast of gunfire came after an attorney for the Booth family said Dustin had a psychotic break in late January. In a statement, the attorney said the father of two young boys claimed he was a god, there was no Antarctica, and that the earth was flat. Booth ended up being hospitalized for a week, but he was released when experts decided he was not a threat to himself or others. Back home, the attorney says Booth smashed his wife's cell phone with a hammer. Later, the attorney says Booth's wife saw him throwing money from the window of a new pickup he'd just bought. Things reached a boiling point on February 11th. After an hours-long standoff involving a behavioral health crisis team seemed to go nowhere, Monroe police say they coordinated a traffic stop to try to take Booth into custody. This body camera footage shows officers shouting at Booth to get on the ground as the canine tried to do its job. Police say they fired at Booth because he pulled a handgun from his waist. A friend of Booth's who was driving the car police pulled over said as much. Stop Stop it. Stop it. He's, yes, he's got a gun. Moments later, you hear Booth's voice and then the sound of bullets. Now, the attorney for Booth's family said in a statement his loved ones want to know why it was so hard to get help for Booth during his time of crisis. And they're also asking why police killed Booth, quote, knowing he was mentally ill. Todd Dykes, WLWT News 5.